Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about what Civilization VI can do better as a game. Now, I like Civilization VI not because it's better than Civilization V, but because it's going to set up Civilization VII to be the greatest Civilization game of all time. Now, with this game, there's a couple issues I see with Civ VI. Number one, the AI is pretty retarded. Like, the AI in this game is mentally stupid. Like, as in, I was playing a game and Samaria built five cities. I somehow, I was in the, I think the information age and I could declare a colonial war, which means they were in the modern age, except they were using crossbowmen and catapults. Why they didn't upgrade their military, I have no idea. And if they're in the modern age, I'm pretty sure they had access to machine guns by that time. So, I don't know. Seem pretty retarded to me if you're not making MG encampments. They freaking had crossbowmen. I literally took out their city with two rocket artillery and a tank. I took out their entire civilization with that. They weren't even armies. Now, so the AI is extremely dumb. The AI sucks at combat. Like, I feel like I can declare war on someone like 5 million arrows ahead of me and still beat them. So I really don't like the AI in Civilization VI. I think it just sucks. Even on Emperor. Like, Emperor, I have an easy time winning. So then it comes to the actual game. And I think the game is a little too simple for me. And I think the reason why Civ V had those boring parts, which to me the boring parts were the Classical Age, the Renaissance Era... And in between, in like the modern era, in between modern and atomic era. And it was because in those eras, like you just upgraded your units or you started making your armies, right? Um, for example, okay, the industrial era was when you got the musketmen, and the modern era was when you got the riflemen. Well, there was sometimes no point in training musketmen if you're just going to end up training riflemen, which don't use your niter, which you then can trade off to other civilizations, giving you more money to then either make musketmen and upgrade them or just make riflemen. So there were some things that just didn't, I don't know, that just seemed dumb. It seemed like in that game, for every unit, one tech later, there was a unit that just didn't use the resource. It just kind of seemed weird to me. Now, um, Civ Six, they cut out the boring parts, but and they kind of replaced them a little bit with interesting things. You know, I noticed by the time you usually hit the Renaissance era, you're still, you know, you have the capacity to war. Um, you're really starting to bump up culture and science, which is great. And I think it could be a little more complicated. I think one of the things that they should do, which I don't know why they don't is something like resource processing. So what I mean by resource processing, and this is how I think, I'm just gonna use rif the musketman to rifleman example because I really like that example. So musketmen take niter, okay? That's basically the game's version of gunpowder. Riflemen don't take niter, they take nothing. What if there was a factory type building you could build or maybe a specialty district that um, you could upgrade. Okay, you have to be able to upgrade this building. That makes it so every two nighter you have, you have like, um, let's just say a, like a fine, let's just say gunpowder. We'll make it easy, right? You need two gunpowder to make a rifleman. Or... Two iron gives you a steel, so then you need steel to make long swordsmen or samurai or something like that. Or two uranium gives you plutonium, which lets you build the plutonium bomb, and then two plutonium gives you a tungsten or something. I don't know. I don't know how elements work like that. But I think just something like I like the resource management aspect of the game. I just wish it was more. I wish it was more complicated, right? I wish. Because it seems like the only 
areas really worth protecting are your resources. There's no other areas that are really worth protecting in that game, right? Um, maybe two aluminum gives you freaking, I don't know, some aluminum alloy, right? Um, that's one of the reasons why I like the uh, information era is because you need to protect your sources of uranium and aluminum at all times because if you don't, you're either your planes or your nukes or your modern army is going to get completely destroyed. So I just think better resource management, still having to control resources is an important aspect of civilization six that is not in there that should be in there because there a lot of times there's no reason to war with someone until the information age when you completely decimate cities right that's just the way that i see it is that there you know the the lack of resources that you actually need are you just don't need them you don't need them now i think the policy system is great it could be a lot better and I think the legacy bonuses really aren't explained, but should be explained more. I kind of wish that you had the government legacy bonuses, you had the uh, policies from Civ Five, and also like governmental policies, which are the policies from Civ Six, just to really specialize your government and make it feel like your own. Because that is one of the reasons I I am so much better at Civ Six than Civ Five, and it's simply because there's such a deeper meta you can put in. Civ 5, it feels like I'm playing against the same freaking civilizations. It feels like they're as similar as mine, as similar as me, as similar as me. In Civ 6, there are clear differences between each civilization. And the, the meta gets so deep, and I love it. And I wish that deeper meta got even deeper with resource management, combat, and technology. I think the civics, civics tree was an absolutely insanely good idea. That was a really good idea. But with that, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. Tell me what you think Civ 6 needs to do better. I mean, that's what I thought I did, but I don't know. There's other things I could see. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.